I'm totally lost. 13? 13? But yeah, I'm finally back and I'm happy to say I've actually been gaining some weight. There were some fluctuations, but it looks like it's steadily going up now. But you know what? Let me not jinx it. Let me actually weigh myself first to make sure the progress is still coming. So I actually weighed myself before I recorded it for you guys, and on the camera it said 152.4, but nah, I'm actually 151.6 after I took a dump, pissed, and brushed my teeth. So I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty steady right now. I started off at 147, like what, two weeks ago? Was it two weeks ago or last week? Around that time. And then I went up to 150, as I said before. Then I went down to 148, so it was probably water weight and stuff. Then I went up to 149. Then I went up to 150. Then I went up to 151. Point eight, then I went down to 151.4, and now I'm up to 151.6, so I'm still in the 151s. I'm actually happy about that. Yeah, and the funny thing is, too, is it's, it's, remember I kept telling you guys, I'm like, I know what my issue is. I know why I'm not gaining weight. It's not because of my workouts, okay? I know it's because of my diet, because as soon as I started fixing my diet, my, my weight was going up a my weight is going up a lot more steadily and consistently, right? So, I'm telling you guys, the workouts, like, it's good. My workouts are good. I've trained yesterday, so today is not training day, and I have to go to work. And no lie, I've been eating some McDonald's because I was getting it for free, getting it for, like, a half price. Did I even buy McDonald's? I think I've been getting it for free lately because I've been slick. I've been slick. And, man, the calories in them shits. <laughs> Ridiculous, but yeah, I have to go to the grocery store pick up some some oats. I got the tilapia guys for you guys. Don't, well, you guys wouldn't know. About to pick up some oats. I have to pick up milk, and I have to pick uh peanut butter because I'm running out of those ingredients for my protein shakes. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the store and pick up some freaking groceries right before work. So it actually feels pretty good to see that my weight is going up. By the way, I'm not gonna try to make these vlog sessions like the video too long anymore because I heard you guys. And a, a, a good portion of you guys did like the longer videos, but a lot of you guys didn't really like the long videos. And again, like, yo, I, I would be able to do it if I had more time, but yo, the editing for those long ass videos are forever. So I'm not gonna be doing those long ass videos. But anyway, yeah, I just, I'm so happy to see my weight going back up again because, again, for those of you guys who were, who were watching Bible and Cal from the beginning, you guys saw that my weight was going up. But every time I slip up, it goes back down. Right, so now I'm just trying to stay on point, and I know some people may say like, "Yo, Simon, like, how can you be a trainer or a coach, and you're gonna be eating McDonald's, bro?" I bear, I don't even think I paid for the McDonald's. I, I think I got it for free most of the times. Now that I remember, so I'm like, "Yo, if it's free food, it's free food, and it's easy calories." And I don't think the McDonald's here in in Canada is as bad as the states. Like when you hear all of those uh those stories about like the pink shit in the the nuggets or in the burgers and stuff i think that mostly has to do with the states like i remember i watched a video where a guy lit he was smoking a fry that is not that is not canadian mcdonald's trust me by the way i am enjoying working at mcdonald's like it is not stressful like does it get kind of hectic some hectic sometimes yeah but all in all i am enjoying working at mcdonald's it's, it's, I could socialize with people that are like around my age. I don't go there depressed. I actually have work today, as I said before. I start at three till nine, so I work like six hours this week. I'm getting more hours as the weeks go by. And I'm just like, yo, this could finally be that place where I could go work. I don't make a lot of money, but I could save up as much as I can make and get all the equipment that I want. Because as you guys know, it's, it's, the, it's the laptop first and foremost, so laptop, then it's camera, then it's mic, then it's lights, and I'm just going to freaking revamp this entire channel. I'm going to revamp the entire channel for you guys and for me, just so I could take Strength Over Size to the next level, possibly at or before 10k subs. Like, I really want it to be something different, you know? So... I'm just happy that I'm just relaxed and even though I wasn't uploading videos this week, trust me, the videos are coming. It's just that I've been 
as I, the last video I uploaded, I was talking about how just how I've been trying to find myself, right? I've just been trying to find myself, and with that, I've kind of been like better ridden, just watching videos on top of videos on top of videos about like celibacy and other things like that. And I've just been trying to educate myself, so I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading videos that much this week. But don't worry, Bobby and the Calisthenics, I will be sure to keep those coming though. So I didn't actually eat yet since I woke up because I decided that I want to drink my protein shake first. Because when I drink my protein shake, I get a lot of calories and I get hungry faster. Therefore, I'm able to get another meal in. If I have to eat another meal first, that I wouldn't be able to enjoy my protein shake. Like, I'll be too full. And you know what? I'm gonna start using less milk and more peanut butter to get more calories while being able to drink it and not feeling sick with all of that liquid in my stomach. That's just me though. You guys comment down below like how you guys do it. For me, I just, I feel like it's been working better that way. Like I, I will be drinking my protein shake and I feel like I'm just trying to force it down because I still have some food inside my stomach and I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not craving it, but when I'm hungry, yo, the shakes taste so freaking good. So that's what I'm gonna start doing. And hopefully I, I can get a lot of calories in in the morning and then not as much during work because I only have two, no, one break, right? Okay, so I really gotta get my peanut butter and I have to get my oats and milk. So I'm not gonna try to drink too much milk. So I might probably get like two tubs of peanut butter. Two? Yeah. Can't believe the, the hippie milk, AKA almond milk is almost done. Look at this guys. Surprised people are drinking more almond milk now. They're probably watching my vi my videos, <laughs> my videos. Oh snap, oh snap, yo, yo sale, yo. Okay, I'm getting this, I'm getting this. I'm getting, uh, shit. Uh, this one or this one? This one, white chocolate. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna get this one. This one didn't fail me last time. Uh, I, uh, white chocolate. Let me, let me try. I want some white chocolate, bro. I want some white chocolate. <laughs> Been looking for the oats and can't find it. I think I just found it. Yeah. I think I just, okay, yeah, I found it. gonna get these aren't even the, the box I didn't get this well it's a box now actually actually I rather this I rather this let me get this let's get a one box for now damn I came so close to going over my limit on how much money I, on how much money I have on my card when I bought these groceries like, jeez cuz I only had like I have like what 20 bucks I had like 20 bucks on my card and I spent about $20 on these groceries. I'm like, oh my gosh, please do not, do not decline. I have never had my car decline before, so I, I don't want that to be the first. But yeah, man, I'm just, I am trying to manage my money as much as possible, and I don't get paid until, I don't, it's funny because my first, my first McDonald's paycheck comes on the same day as my YouTube paycheck, so that's gonna be a nice day. And man, I am just gonna start, uh, so good to finally have some money, like, to have some money coming in. I know it's not a lot, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably make more than me, but still, I am happy, okay, I am happy, just to have my little pocket change or whatever you wanna call it, I'm just happy, man, jeez. Oh yeah, for those of you guys who are wondering, like how, I'll make an update video to, to describe it more in depth, but just to update you guys like on my my celibacy and no fap journey I'm not really trying to count the days like I'm not I am not counting to see how long I will last before I fail like as I said I'm trying to do this indefinitely I'm trying to change my life for the better and I really my mind is a lot more clear now that I decide to go down this path and so far I'm on 10 days 10 days of no fapping and and whatnot, but the thing is, is you on on Twitter, your porn comes across my my screen sometimes. I'll be watching a couple of videos still. When I say a couple, I mean like you know several. But I don't do anything. I don't do anything, and it's just I've been going strong. Like, and I've been looking up a lot of like sex stuff, like sex education, because I always look up that stuff for fun. I, I, I I'm just intrigued by it, and I'm just like yo, even though I'm not. 
even though I'm not fapping, I'm still going to be looking up these things just for my own amusement and my own, uh, I guess, knowledge. And I encourage you guys to do the same thing too. Like, it just helps clear my mind in a way. I don't know how to explain it. I really don't. But yeah, I'm going pretty strong, guys. Shit. It's the wrong type of oats. I wanted to... Dang. I didn't realize it came in packets. I didn't realize it actually came in packets, man. Like, it's cool and all, but this is not, this is not nearly enough oats to last me that long. Oh, uh, let's try this out anyway. You see what I did here? I added a lot more peanut butter, and I took away, like, half a cup of milk. Because usually when I put, like, two cups of milk and not that much peanut butter, it's not as creamy, and it tastes, like, watery. And I start feeling kind of sick with all that, like, liquid in my stomach. So, I put more peanut butter, less milk, and it's probably going to be a lot more creamy. So, I'm hoping it's not too thick and nasty. And I hope those packs, the oat packs, actually work well. Because I usually do, like, 40 to 50 grams of oats, and those packs are only about 30 grams, so I think it should work. Tastes a lot better. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this tastes so much better. And you know, I forgot to mention, because I took away half a cup of milk by adding more peanut butter, I actually got more calories, but less volume in the drink. So I didn't actually have to pour again, uh, pour any more into this. So, basically... Since the peanut butter is more calorically dense, and I put it inside this, and I took away the milk, I save money because I don't have to buy milk so often anymore. Instead of using two cups of milk, I use 1.5 cups of milk, or a cup and a half of milk. It tastes a lot more peanut buttery, which is why I like it. It tastes more like Reese Puffs, and it's more creamy, and it don't taste so, like, watery, I guess. So, I encourage you guys to try it out. <laughs> I keep switching with the protein shaker. If you guys really want me to show you guys how to make it again, just... Just comment that down below, man. Okay, guys, guys, I'm walking to work right now. Like 40, it's like a 40 minute walk, guys. But yo, I'm walking and I start seeing something coming out of the sky. I'm like, okay, it, it's, it has to be like a joke. And you guys are probably seeing it right now. I don't know. But I'm walking, I freaking see snow. It's snowing. Do you see this? Do you see? Do you see? Oh, yeah, I don't think you guys can see it. You guys have to see this right now. It's freaking snowing in the middle of October. It's not even real snow. It looks like, it looks like soft hail. Like soft hail. Do you see it, guys? Yo! Wow! This, yo, the world is ending. The world is coming to an end. Oh, my freaking goodness. Oh, my gosh. I don't know why I'm freaking out right now, but, yo, this just doesn't make any sense. Okay, you guys can see this, though, right? Y'all can see it. Oh my gosh, like how? I hate this. I hate winter. <laughs> well, it looks so beautiful. The sun is out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's snowing so bad. Look at this. What the hell? This isn't normal. Yo, yo, Canada. You freaking bipolar ass weather. You do not know what freaking, what freaking season you want to be. This is not fall. Yo! Okay, I, 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 gotta, I gotta hurry up and get to work, yo. I'm freaking out. Oh, shoot. Okay, so I'm actually trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to eat. I still got my snacks right here. But I still got my snacks right here, but that's not gonna fill me, man. And, uh, you know, I think I know what I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat some rice and corned beef because my mom went and made my tin can spaghetti, my alphabet spaghetti, which is something I want to eat, man. Like, I like it, I enjoy it sometimes. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll eat some corned beef and then I'll get my workout in. And I'm going, I'm going to, this entire week, I think I'm just gonna go in and kill off my, my shoulders, my delts. I'm gonna do a lot of delt, ex delt exercises this week just to really build those delts and yeah. That's my favorite muscle group. That's my favorite uh, muscle on the arm, I guess. Like, I love, I just love nice round delts. So, yeah, I'm gonna work towards that for this week. So, that was a freaking good workout. Sorry if it's like all looking all loopy and stuff. Sorry. Because the I'm holding the stand, so it's kind of like, whatever. That was a good ass workout. And you know what? A lot of times in my episodes, I don't actually explain what I do. So you know what, let me actually get inside and explain the workout then. Okay, so I'm back inside, 
and I feel so much, I, oh my gosh, that workout felt so good, even though my ears feel like it's clogged and popping, I don't know what's up with that. Oh, I feel so congested, but yo, that was such a nice workout. Now, I know in a lot of my episodes, I actually haven't been explaining my workouts, like y'all just been seeing me work out, but I haven't really been focusing on it. So let me tell you guys what I do. I typically aim to do, I don't really try to count how many exercises I do, I just kind of go with the flow in my head and I kind of follow a formula, right? So I don't really choose exercises, I choose what group I want to, what muscle groups I want to work and then I choose what I think I, I'm able to complete and I know my body so I know what I'm able to complete and what I'm not able to complete for the most part, right? So. Uh, let's just say I typically choose between three to four exercises. Every set, all, for all exercises, I always try to hit between three to five sets. So if I stop at three sets, I'm cool. If I stop at four sets, I'm cool. If I stop at five sets, I am cool. But I also try to end my reps, like each set between five to 12 reps. If I end between there, I am okay, okay? So I always try to rest between 30 seconds and 30 and 60 seconds but if i have to rest for 90 seconds i will and i always try to make sure that i'm hitting an intensity that makes me fail at those reps fail at those reps and sets okay so i remember there was someone there was an SOS family member who commented i forgot to i wasn't replying to you guys as much as of late i've just been like researching a lot of things like you guys should see the stuff i've been researching mostly about like sex and stuff but i'm interested in that stuff but basically uh <clears throat> Someone asked me, he's like, yo, I do like, he, I do, I try to do like three to four exercises, three to like five sets, and I can't even complete like two of them. Like, yo, what's up? Like, what should I do? Now, remember guys, bodybuilding with calisthenics and powerlifting with calisthenics or any type of series that you guys see me partake on for my own journey, that is me training myself, not you guys. So what you guys see me do in bodybuilding with calisthenics is not me telling you guys to try it. Like, try it out, but it's not me telling you guys to do that workout because some of you guys just may not be able to do it. Like, for example, I know a lot of you guys can't even do, like, for example, I, I'll be doing the handstand push-ups on the wall, right? And some people say, yo, I tried it out and I can't even do like two. Good for trying, but um, again, don't think I was telling you to do that workout. That workout works for me. Some of y'all could only go to the gym and do the dumbbell overhead pressing for now. Some of y'all can't really do the, the handstand push-ups to really uh, stimulate hypertrophy in your, in your delts. So there's no point in trying to copy me. That's just me trying to partake in my own journey to reach my own goals, okay? The same thing applies to my diet. Guys, do not copy my diet. I fully, I am fully aware that my diet is shit and is not something I would ever recommend to anybody. If I was training you, if I would, if you were like a, perhaps a online client of mine, I would not tell you to eat what I'm eating. You get it? I'm flexible in what I eat. And the thing is too is that my diet looks worse on camera than it actually is because some of y'all like, yo, you got to eat more healthier, like eat more rice and stuff. Guys, I live in a Jamaican household. We eat rice and peas and rice chicken. Like we eat that like every freaking day. Y'all see me eat pizza and some junk food on camera because that's just a part of the day you guys get. Right, like if you notice in a lot of my videos, you guys do not see me at nighttime. Like at nighttime, that's when all the nice meals come in and stuff. Dinner time, right? In the daytime, you're gonna see me eat cereal. You'll see me eat eggs and bread, which isn't so bad. Well, in my opinion, I know some vegans will be like, "Yo, egg is bad, has this and that." But I'm just saying, in general, egg isn't so bad to me. Uh, bread, I eat bread. I eat. Uh, I'll eat pasta sometimes, you guys don't even see that though, but I'll eat macaroni, you guys are like, yo, that's shit, I'll eat pizza, oh, that's shit, I eat cookies and stuff, oh, that's shit, guys, don't watch these episodes to try to mimic me, right, don't watch these episodes to try to mimic me, trust me, I'm also on my own journey, like, you guys ever know, you ever know what the right thing is, but you just don't follow through, Right? Like people are expecting me like, oh you're you're a coach man, you should be eating super healthy. It's like bro, I'm human, even though I'm a coach, doesn't mean I'm gonna be like super like heck, I have a kid. I know I shouldn't be having sex like before marriage or unprotected and stuff, but I still did it and got a kid. I got a kid. I'm not gonna go tell you to go have a kid now. You feel me? So I just want you guys to really watch these episodes more so for entertainment and for you know cheering me on to reach my goals. I'm gaining weight. Right, as I've been saying, like I told you guys that I would gain weight when I start eating more and whatnot. And I've been following through my diet a lot more. As a matter of fact, look at this. I came back from work yesterday and I like, got my manager, who is also a, uh, a 
Uh, she used to, she, she was in the same grade as me in high school, but now she's a manager at, at McDonald's. And look, I got a free meal. I got a free meal for what I did uh, for my work that I put in yesterday, right? So of course when I get free McDonald's, I'm not gonna tell you guys to go eat McDonald's, but how many of you guys are getting free meals at McDonald's? Like seriously, so I'm gonna eat it. And McDonald's isn't so bad as I thought, it's still bad, but isn't as bad as I thought. Like all the stuff I heard about it, like whew, that's more of the States. That's stuff that happens in the States, I believe so. But yeah guys, like I just want to speak more on, this episode I really want to, to speak more on bodybuilding with calisthenics instead of speaking on a bunch of random things in my life because you know like i like sharing that stuff too but i know a lot of you guys are here for fitness and you guys really want to know what's going on like yo what's your progress like a lot of you guys are asking me for powerlifting calisthenics i'm like bro it's coming back just wait i i'm, I'm like so sure i'm so sure oh video upload i'm so sure that i i found gym now and in December, I'm planning on going, and I'm going to stick with it, guys. I'm going to stick with it, get bigger. And, oh, and one thing I want to talk to you guys about. So, and it's funny, someone commented it. It's like, yo, stop worrying about the weight. Just try to get your body to where you want it to be, like, aesthetically. And I'm like, yo, that's so true. That's so true. I kind of lost sight of that because... I started getting obsessed with the number on the scale. I was like, yo, what about the what about the numbers on my arms, you know, my in, the inches and, and, you know, all of that. I'm like, yo, I gotta start steering my, my mind towards that, which is why you guys see me doing those isolation exercises. Like, I forgot about it. And remember I told you guys, when I start getting back into working out, I don't like starting off with the weighted vest, right? My weighted vest right there. I don't like starting off with it, like, like as soon as possible. I like I like doing body weight first for at least a week or a week and a half, and then I add the I add the uh, the weighted vest. So I added the weighted vest today. Uh, I started doing you know I did my I did my side lateral I did my laterals I did my front raises I did my I did my uh, overhead my handstand push ups my pike push ups I did dips all of those were killing my shoulders. And man, my shoulders are on fire right now, but it feels good. You guys ever see the pump in your shoulders, man? When you look in the mirror, you're like, oh my gosh, you're one sexy ass mofo. But basically, I really want to start focusing on the aesthetic part. And it's not even about size. Like, it's, it's not even necessarily about size. Like, I don't really want to be so big. That guy I've seen in Christian Guzman, Guzman's video, uh, Sean, I think his name is Sean. Bro, this guy's body looks amazing to me, yo. People are saying, oh, his abs look weird, his abs look... Yo, people have weird... Everyone has different types of abs, different type of abs, man. Like, I'm happy with my abs, and people still think my abs look weird. People think my abs look weird. I think they look pretty good. They're, they're like, what, even together? They're, they look nice to me, but some people say my abs look like shit. So what? I don't care. I'm not trying to impress any guys. Like, what the hell? So, put it this way. I'm going to try to get my body to where I want to look aesthetically because if I hit 160 pounds, my body doesn't look like how I want to look, I'll work towards making it look like how I want to look. No, I'm not the bodybuilder because to me, in my mind, bodybuilders just keep going. Like They bodybuild indefinitely. I'm the type of guy where it's like, yo, once I hit the body that I see that I like, I'm staying there. Because I also like fashion and being too big will not, will not mix the fashion that I like. So... For me, I'm not trying to get super, super huge. I just want to have a nice looking physique and I just want to have a little bit more size because before I even started working out, I'm looking at my phone guys, but my bad. But before I even started working out, my goal was to actually hit 170 pounds. I, that was my first goal. I actually was going to start off as a bodybuilder, but I, I didn't like it. It was boring. It was boring to me. And for those of you guys who are wondering how I looked before, as you, for newcomers, right? Some of you newcomers, go watch the first episode too. Like, go watch the first episode, you know, of Bodybuilding Cast Thanks if you're just new to the channel. But yeah, uh, if you go to my Instagram, go to the very first picture of mine to see how ugly my body looked. Some people say my body didn't look so bad, but everyone's their own worst critic. To me, my body looked hideous, right? It looked terrible. But yeah, guys, like, you just gotta just. You just gotta go for what you like. I don't care what anybody, I don't care about anybody else's opinion on my body, right? People will tell you your body looks good, but to you, if you don't feel like your body looks as good, yo, achieve it, go for it, right? Even though I'm strength over size and strength is my priority, just because I'm strength over size doesn't mean I only like strength. That's so, like, I don't get people's opinion on that. Like, oh, you're strength over size, but you're bodybuilding. Well, yeah, I like black chicks over, over Hispanic chicks. Doesn't mean I'll never date a Hispanic chick. You get my point? So, strength over size is a lot deep, there's a deeper meaning to it, but yeah, I'm not explaining that. 
explain all of that. But yeah, guys, I'm not going to keep this real too long anymore. You guys have told me you guys want the, the videos to be a bit shorter and whatnot. But yeah, I just want to dedicate this video more so to, to, to talking about uh, bodybuilding cast thanks my my bodybuilding journey I'm sure you guys are interested in that and still me just talking about my life every single time so yeah I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed the video I enjoyed making the video um, man the workout was absolutely amazing it felt so good my only problem with with fitness is I, I suck at getting started I suck at just going outside and getting the workout in but when I get the when I'm actually working out I feel good it, it always feels good I love fitness man I love fitness and yeah guys it just uh, I am blessed. I am blessed and I'm happy. Celibacy is working so far. Celibacy or abstinence, whatever you want to call it. If you guys want me to speak more on that, please comment that down below. Like, if you guys want me to speak on more life topics, just, yo, comment it. Yo, Simon, speak on this. Okay, I got you. Right? And just, I, you know what? There's some, there's some topics that you guys want me to speak on or people want me to speak on, like supplements. Well, my thoughts on supplements. Uh, you guys want, you want me to give you some lower app exercise videos. And I, I've been slacking, but I'll step my game up. I'll step my game up. Okay, so yeah. A comment down below. Like the video, as you guys always do. I don't have to tell you. But uh, yeah, I love you guys, man. I'll try to reply to you guys as much as possible after this. So I'll talk to you all next time. Whoop, done. Shut up. You, you, it's just a phase. No, I'm, I'm dead serious on this. I'm dead serious. I decided that I'm going to become celebrated.